what goes into the inspiration for your art or even when you're creating like decks or journals? A lot of the um, journals and cards that I make kind of reflect what I'm going through at that particular point in time. For example, when I made the um, very first book, Manifest book right here, um, I was super into manifestation and the law of attraction. And I was just like, so like infatuated with that entire concept and idea. And I was really using it in my life. So I really wanted to create a journal about it. And then recently I published my Aphrodite's journal, which is all about self-love and pleasure and connection with your body and senses. And for me, that's exactly what I was going through that time, you know, really rediscovering my feminine energy and opening my heart to love and all of that. So I think one of my inspirations is definitely my personal journey, what I personally need. What I need in this stage of my life is what I want to make for others as well. Mm. Um, Yes. So, and definitely, you know, more general things like being inspired by nature and conversations with my friends who love to go deep and other artists and also my dreams. I have, um, (laughs) I go through periods of very vivid dreams and I've even had dreams before where I am in my dream mind art gallery and I'm just walking around the art gallery and I'm just looking at all of the paintings and then I'm, you know, trying to remember them because that's literally, you know, inspiration (gasps) for my heart. (laughs) That's amazing that you have that. (laughs) Wow. So you just see art in your dreams and then you're like, oh, let me try to recreate that in real life. Yes. Wow. (laughs) Not all the time, but every now and then I go through a period of specifically vivid dreams and it's great. Yeah. I just feel like you're one of those people who are more connected with like the divine or something otherworldly. Do you know what I mean? Like some people have, whether you call it intuition or creative, like there's whatever label you want to give it, but I I get that vibe from you. (laughs) Have you always been that way? And do you have, I guess, advice for other artists to like connect with that? Yeah. I do want to mention, I feel like we all have access to that part of ourselves, whether it's intuition or, you know, the source or the divine wisdom, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely. Everyone I feel like has equal access. It is how much Can you open yourself to it? And how much can you, you know, clear your channel and calm your mind to access those higher messages or visions? Absolutely. I would say create without any expectations and attachment to the outcome. Definitely. Like actually take time to play, to play with pains and to, you know, do random shapes. There's this actually really um, interesting popular game that I love to play with my friends where one friend draws a shape and the other person has to complete it. So do things like that that help your mind to get out of the box that you yourself built there. Um, Mm. For me, I'm really loving exploring um, paintings currently, so like acrylic paintings And for me, thinking in a more abstract way has been helping so much. Try to think as abstract as you possibly can. For example, think of an object and then think, okay, this object has this use in normal life. But if this was like another planet and an alien found the same object, they wouldn't know its use. So what could they use it for? You know, for example, like a fork can be a hairbrush and stuff like that just thinking outside of the box exactly yeah yeah yeah. so I would say that wow I love it do you have any I guess rituals that you do in your life whether it's like before you create something or just morning evening rituals that you want to share yes definitely ritual is an important part of my life definitely I try to have this sense of ceremony in a lot of things that I do because I feel like it adds this sacredness to your daily life or to anything you want to create. I do my yeah daily yoga practice every morning. Actually, something that I love to do every morning after I do my stretches and I sit with my cup of tea, I think of three things I would like to manifest for that day in just three words. For example, 
confidence, energy, inspiration, or pleasure, fun, and healing. So just three simple words. And for me, just like putting that intention out there every single day, even if you don't remember it five minutes later, for me, it's just like, it does something to me. Like I've been doing actually Mm. that for like a year and a half. Now, like it's an essential part of my practice saying my three words in the morning. I just say them out loud um, and that's it. Like, that's it. I love it. I, that sounds so like, I already can feel how powerful that can be just like deciding I want my day to be these three things. And it's so simple, right? Just like three words. Yes. Before I have a big product launch or like big release or a sale, I like to journal about it. And I journal about it as if it has already happened. So I would Mm. write like, okay, so I just, I released this product. It got this many sales. I feel so good about it. People really resonate with it. So I do that like before I launch, I write as if I already launched it. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, that Love also it. kind of makes you feel this new level of confidence and excitement and inspiration. So then obviously you will just attract that. Yeah, yeah. I'm manifesting queen over here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 